is equally at liberty to believe anything. It's a free world. Hello, my family. Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing you the truth. Welcome, guys, to this special episode of my video today. And right into this video, guys, I'm actually here because I have actually gotten one of the. Um, I came across a video where one of the um, disciple of um, Prophet TV Joshua. All right, has actually spoken out and is going to be narrating to us all right the full story of all these disciples all right and why they left um synagogue church of all nations why they left because many of them left far far long ago even before the uh, prophet tb joshua died all right so he's going to be narrating each and even including um you know the 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 girl that or the lady that was actually you know um said to be um prophet tb joshua all right he's going to be addressing all those issues too all right guys so before we dive into the video for those of you coming newly to my channel kindly the subscribe button subscribe to the channel if you haven't liked the video please hit the like button like to this video guys watch this and i'll be right back please watch this the prophet never stopped disciples from getting married he only taught us that it is better for one to secure his or her future first before going into marriage. He said since marriage is both a commitment and responsibility, if you are still in the pursuit of your career and at the same time thinking about marriage, it becomes an unnecessary liability. That is it. As he said, how can I be backing you and you are backing someone else? And for goodness sake, how do you think a leader who is married and have children will stop his followers from doing the same? So firstly, the lady Angelique had left the ministry way back to her country because she wanted to get married to a fellow disciple. But the prophet advised her based on what I have just said. But she disagreed and left. After a long while, she suddenly reappeared in front of the church gate with a hidden camera and started screaming, causing scene. He had sex with me. He made love with me. Why didn't she do that when she was leaving? Come on, you call that evidence? No, it is acting. And please take this for records. I joke was never a biological daughter of Prophet T.B. Joshua. The prophet has only three biological daughters and the whole world know them. Ajoke was a few days old baby abandoned under a truck around the church premises by her callous mother. The prophet picked her up and reported the case to the police. And rather than sending her to the orphanage home, he chose to father her. Despite adopting her as his own daughter and giving her all the fatherly love and care. And this little girl was growing up to the admiration of everyone and suddenly became utterly rebellious. To the point that everyone became fed up of her and one day, she left. All her records are in the Scorn archives. Why did Agamemnon Paul leave the Scorn? He was sent as an evangelist to the Scorn branch in Ghana and there he fell in love with the daughter of a regional minister. The prophet being a man of vision called him and said, I am not saying you shouldn't get married. You are of age, of course, but I don't see any future in your relationship with this lady. But Agomo was hell-bent on marrying this lady. And sadly, after the prophet told him this, few months later, the lady in question died. And Agomo became disoriented and began rebelling even whilst in the discipleship quarters. So the prophet called him one day and said, Agomo, I can see that your mind is no longer here. And rather than offending the Holy Spirit, let me bless you so that you may go. 
So the prophet blessed him and he left. Rachel had the spirit of woman as we call it in the scorn and as she rightly confessed. The prophet sent her back home to her country UK several times and still years after she refused to be delivered. So she left. Bisola was continuously rebellious and the prophet sent her home one day to call her mother. When the mother came, she thanked the prophet so much for being able to harbor her daughter all these years despite her unbearable character. Then she told the prophet in the presence of Bisola, Man of God, I know you are a true prophet of God, but Bisola is my daughter and I know her very well. I don't think you are able to tame her. The rest stories about Bisola, how she came to the squan, and what problem brought her, are all packaged in the video posted by the church when she and Agamor Paul first embarked on their campaign of calumny against T.B. Joshua, tagged Deception of the Age. I know you are hearing most of these things for the first time and I can go on and on but let me stop here. Remember, the Bible says, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. If the prophet did any wrong whilst alive, leave judgment for God. After all, everyone, whether lying or truthful, we one day stand to face God's righteous judgment on the last day. All right, my family, there you have it with that amazing disciple of the man of God, His Excellency, um, Prophet TB Joshua, as he actually speaks concerning, um, you know, all the disciples. You can imagine what he's saying. Look at all these disciples and how they left, you see. Look at all they left. And even while the man of God, Prophet TB Joshua, was alive, you can imagine that most of them were already doing what they have done now. So... I am trying to understand what, um, why the, this BBC actually did this documentary because these guys, these disciples, these so-called disciples actually, we are actually always even saying most of these things that they are saying now, even when the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua was alive. And you can imagine the story that is being given, all right, and how these people actually left, all right. And now look at the people that BBC went and took to do the documentary, see. So I am trying to understand. Those of you that are actually saying or suits complaining, I, and I thank God that many men of God have actually spoken out concerning this issue. For those of you that are outside there and are still attacking the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, is left for you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you are gaining from attacking him. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I look forward to seeing my next video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. See you in my next video. Bye.